everybody Ann here, just sitting here having my coffee with all of you lovely people. Yep, I put Roxy in the barred rock pen last night. I just went in after she had gone up to perch, grabbed her. She doesn't move very fast. She's gotten kind of chunky. She's a chunky chicken, if you know what I mean. So I just brought her over and uh, put her up on the back perch in the coop there and um, closed the door. There was some crying and gnashing of teeth for a little while, but, um, oh, and the main perch that they all like to like roost on at night broke. I went out this morning and noticed the, the twig, the stick I'd put up there had broke. So I got to put another one up there um, because they like to oh, roost in the forward part of the coop. So she's doing all right. She's only sniped at a couple of them a couple times. So I think it'll do okay. She probably won't lay eggs for a while because once you move a hen, um, they kind of like need to get reoriented before they will start laying so anyhow I got to get some breakfast in me and I got to get to work I have an idea for the rooster coop sometimes I just get a crazy idea up in my head I got a lot on my mind and God just tells me to well go do a thing and so I did a thing see that little hoopy thing there that's up on top of the floor of the rooster coop well um Selena from across the street, Mr. Lucas' daughter-in-law, brought me over some chicken wire, and this was part of it. It was actually a longer piece, and I cut it this way because I thought, you know what? I can make something with that. I didn't know what it was going to be. Those are um, kind of like the railings to a sliding glass door. So I just connected the two pieces that I cut apart to make this thing longer and kind of looped it around and it's got holes in it so I just stuck the wire and turned it over and um well I made a thing yeah I didn't know what I was going to use it for maybe a chicken tractor cover it up <coughs> good morning Romeo um or maybe like a put some plastic over it and do uh, like a greenhouse thing over the long garden bed but I was thinking what am I going to do for the roof of this because I got to cover it in a tarp but it's got to be something that's not going to let the tarp go flat so I pulled it over here <laughs> and lo and behold it fits perfect it fits perfect so once I get the pallets up I just need to figure out a way to secure that to the top of the pallets put the tarp over the top of it and voila I got me a nice little hoopy roof I like it when God tells me to like do a thing. God told Noah to do a thing and you know what? Noah did a thing and he basically saved the world. And see all these empty soil bags? I got a big mound of them over there. Well, I've got plans for them too. Here's my breakfast. Look at this hen. She's pacing back and forth. Hoping I'll give her some. You need to go on a diet, Roxy. My breakfast. All right, I'll give you a piece. See? Look it. They're like, we're not going to mess with her. This is one of the back wall pieces that I've covered on the other side with wood and various scraps and whatnot. So now I have to put something on the inside of it. There you go. Yep, I'm cutting up those bags to fit inside here just for a little bit extra insulation. And this wall is done. Ooh, looky here. A little snake skin has been shed. Lovely. Yeah, I'm glad it wasn't there when I went to pull the bags out. Gross. Two walls done. This is what this one looks like from, you know, the outside. Yeah, you can see parts of the bag through it. I am going to go through and put some more sticks up there to kind of cover that in. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect, but I do want it just a little bit better than that. But uh, I don't know. I think that looks kind of pretty. Another one done. And that is the last wall I'm going to work on today because I'm tired. And this one as well. I'm going to put some more sticks in there where the little stuff shines through. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I just want it more, you know, complete. But I like the way it looks. I gotta admit, I really do. So now all I gotta do is find wood to cover the outside of this one, that one, cut the hole for the door for that one, 
find a little bit of covering for that as well. Um, attach it all together and I think I got me a rooster coop. Let's see what the baby chicks are up to. Yeah, that one right there. It's not the one in front. <laughs> the one behind it. Definitely a rooster. This one here, the leghorn, I think that's a rooster. Um, it's not the biggest leghorn. But, look at that. Look at that comb. Yeah, the other leghorns don't have a comb that's that big and that pink. Yeah. So I think I got at least two roosters in here. I'm, I'm thinking that all the other ones. Look at you. Look at that. <laughs> Definitely a rooster. Let's see this one. Let's see if I can get it to focus on it. Yeah, that one doesn't look like a rooster. And all the other ones, they do look like hens. But time will tell, like I've always said. Oh, look at them. They're just so sweet. Look at you, you bad boy. Huh? I don't know. Maybe that one, too. It's hard to tell at this stage. I mean... I think that this one is, I'm 99.99% sure, Rooster. And then that one over there, the one on the left, Rooster. And I am 90% sure that the two um, that I talked about in the main flock area that neighbor family hatched out that I'm pretty sure came from Easter egg or eggs because they've got like different combs. Uh, than any of my other chickens except for the Easter Eggers. I think they're both roosters um, and they've got beautiful plumage coming in. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to show it to you sometime. So for the rooster pen, the two in the main flock, Easter Eggers, one in here that is, I think it's a black Asian Easter Egger mix. I'm, I can't be sure. I think uh, that one is going to go in the rooster pen. The leghorn rooster that I'm pretty sure is a rooster is going to go in the leghorn pen. And BBL, <laughs> the chicken that I uh, named after my sister, well, BBL is starting to show signs of rooster-ish. So, and definitely from an Easter egg or egg. Oh my gosh. But, uh, so if, if BBL is a rooster, I will take BBL out and put him <laughs> in the uh, rooster pen too. So, anyhow, I'm tired. You can tell. I still haven't been sleeping very well. I don't know why. Um, but that's okay. Uh... I got a lot done today. It took a long time to cut that wood and um, recut it. And I broke a few pieces and get everything nailed in. I was pounding nails. I hate pounding nails um, and screwed in. Uh, but it all worked out pretty good. So the rooster pen is coming along. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.